welcome to chemistryconcept.com today we'll be discussing about the adsorption and the absorption so these both topics are from the surface chemistry so today we'll be discussing in detail about adsorption and absorption so first what is the absorption and what is the adsorption and what's the difference between them so i'll tell you in adsorption suppose we have a substance and in the substance the concentration in bulk is more as compared to the surface this is the surface and this is the bulk and this is any substance any substance or we'll call it as uh, i'll tell you later so in adsorption what is there the concentration on the surface will be more as compared to bulk this is the surface and this is the bulk so in adsorption the concentration at the surface will be more as compared to the bulk but in adsorption absorption the concentration in bulk will be more as compared to the co concentration at the surface so the finally when the higher concentration is on the surface and the lesser in the bulk is adsorption and in opposite when the lesser concentration is at surface and the more concentration is at bulk that kind of process is known as absorption so this is the primary definition of the absorption and adsorption now i will tell you about the some differences between both so uh, you, as you can see this absorption this is the bulk phenomena because in bulk the concentration is more so this is the bulk phenomena and uh, since here the concentration at surface is higher so this this is known as surface phenomena and this adsorption is exothermic process whereas this endothermic process this absorption is the endothermic process and there is uh, it is not affected by the temperature this adsorption absorption is not affected by the temperature whereas this ab adsorption favors by low temperature where when the temperature is low ab adsorption will be more uh, now we'll tell about the, the, the rate of reaction it occurs at a uniform rate so in absorption the rate will be uniformly uh, but in the adsorption the rate will be changing steadily increasing and decreasing and sometimes you'll get equilibrium so there is a changes there is no uniformity in the rate in adsorption since it is a uniform so we know we need not to study more so since here is some changes is there so why that change is going to occur so we need to study adsorption in detail next defense is concentration it is same throughout the material means the concentration will be constant throughout the material but here in adsorption the concentration on the surface of adsorbent is different and at the bulk is different so these are the major difference between the adsorption and adsorption uh, one more thing to tell you that this concentration at the surface the particle which is going to adsorb on the surface this kind of particle is known as adsorbate so uh, i'll tell you later i mean in next picture i'll tell you suppose you having any this is this prop this is known as adsorbent and any particle is coming and sticking here and that this kind of particle is known as adsorbate so these are both different terms so uh, will be used in this full chemistry 
in surface chemistry and now the next topic is about uh, what the type of uh, so as I, I already told discuss that uh, this absorption have a uniform rate so we not need not to study in detail but since there is a certain change in the uh, order of the rate in the first uh, this adsorption so we ne need to uh, study in detail so adsorption are of two type adsorption are of two type first is the chemiopsin cheming sorption and second is fissiopsin so in chemiops chemisorption what's the process you have a adsorbent plus you have a adsorbate when the force between this is uh, you can say covalent then that kind of sorption is known as chemisorption in physio sorption the binding or you can say the binding or holding force is van der waal so uh, this is the, the two different kinds of chemisorption and physiosorption there is the two types of the adsorption so one more important thing in this uh, adsorption is the factor that is influencing the adsorption so there are various factor that is going to influence the adsorption so the first factor is temperature so as the temperature is going to increase that cause decrease in the adsorption so and the next is pressure and third is nature of gas and the fourth is nature of adsorbent so the temperature will uh, in temperature and pressure was the thing the decrease decrease in the temperature and the increase in pressure both tend to cause increase in magnitude of adsorption of a gas on a solid and greater the surface area per unit mass of adsorbent the greater is its capacity of adsorption so under given condition the temperature and pressure the capacity of adsorption will be greater so that's the effect of adsorbent so these are the factor is going to affect the adsorption thank you if you have any doubt in this difference between the adsorption and absorption please put in comment box thank you